Have you ever wondered which countries struggle the most with corruption? Today, we're peeling back the layers on this global issue. Corruption, a term often whispered in hushed tones, is a reality that impacts societies, economies and ordinary citizens alike. Understanding its global landscape is crucial as it provides a window into the challenges various nations face and the steps they are taking to overcome this. So, without further ado, let's dive into the depths of corruption, starting from number 10. At number 10, we find a nation grappling with the gnawing issue of corruption, a problem that has woven itself into the very fabric of its society. The challenges are numerous and varied. They range from petty bribery at the local level to grand corruption at the highest echelons of power. In this land, corruption has found fertile ground in the public procurement sector, where the lack of transparency and accountability has allowed for a culture of kickbacks and embezzlement to thrive. This has led to a significant waste of public resources, undermining the government's ability to provide essential services to its citizens. Moreover, this unchecked corruption has eroded public trust in institutions, creating a vicious cycle of cynicism and disengagement. It has also stifled economic development, creating barriers to investment and entrepreneurship and exacerbating income inequality. To truly grasp the pervasive nature of corruption in this country, one must delve deeper into its complexities. But for now, this brings us to the ninth country on our list. Moving on to the ninth spot, we find a country where corruption has sunk its teeth deep into the fabric of society. The main corruption issues here revolve around public procurement, bribery and embezzlement, creating a choking atmosphere that stifles growth and development. Imagine a scenario where public contracts are often awarded to companies with insider connections rather than those offering the best value for money. This not only drains public coffers, but also undermines fair competition. Coupled with widespread bribery, it's a cocktail for economic stagnation. Even more disheartening is the rampant embezzlement, where funds meant for public projects are siphoned off into private pockets. This has far-reaching effects from dilapidated infrastructure to inadequate public services, significantly impacting the quality of life for the citizens. The effects of corruption in this country are far from superficial. They're deeply ingrained and systemic, posing a daunting challenge to those striving for change. Next, let's visit the eighth country on our list. The eighth country on our list is a place where corruption has become a way of life. In this nation, the public sector is riddled with bribery and embezzlement, leading to a significant lack of trust in governmental institutions. The impact? A crippled economy and a population living in constant uncertainty. Moving on, we find the seventh country on our list. Here, corruption has permeated even the judiciary system casting a long shadow over the rule of law. Imagine living in a place where justice is not just blind, but also on sale to the highest bidder. The situation has led to widespread disillusionment among citizens and has impeded social progress. The sixth country paints a similar yet distinct picture. Here, political corruption is the order of the day. Political parties and leaders, the very individuals entrusted to safeguard the interests of the people, are embroiled in scandals involving misuse of power for personal gain. This has resulted in a fragile democracy where the public's faith in the political system is rapidly eroding. As we approach the halfway mark, the fifth country on our list offers a grim reminder of how corruption can ravage a nation's resources. Here, the exploitation of natural resources by corrupt officials has led to severe environmental degradation. Forests are being decimated, rivers polluted, and wildlife hunted to the brink of extinction. The impact extends beyond the environment, leading to socio-economic instability and widening the gap between the rich and the poor. Each of these countries presents a unique case study of corruption's devastating effects. Yet, they all share a common thread. The undermining of public trust and the erosion of social and economic stability. These nations serve as a stark warning of the dire consequences when corruption is allowed to flourish unchecked. This brings us to the top four countries on our list. The fourth country on our list is... Let's take a moment to delve into the deep-rooted issues that have led to its notorious standing. Here, corruption has become a way of life, a norm that poisons the very fabric of its society. It extends from the highest echelons of power to the most minute facets of daily life. Bribes are exchanged as freely as morning greetings, and in the shadows, 
embezzlement and fraud flourish unchecked. This, dear listeners, is a place where corruption is not just a problem, but a culture. Moving on, let's explore the third country on our list. The situation here is a complex tapestry of power play and greed. Public funds, intended to uplift the lives of the populace, are siphoned off into the pockets of the influential few. The schools lack books, the hospitals lack medicine, the roads lack maintenance, and the people lack hope. The irony, however, lies in the fact that this country boasts of immense natural resources. Yet the wealth of the land benefits not the many, but the few. Next, we journey to the second country on our list. This nation paints a stark picture of corruption manifesting in the heart of its political system. Elections here are marred with allegations of vote buying, manipulation and outright rigging. The democratic process, the very core of the nation's governance, is tainted with dishonesty. It's a grim reality that the citizens of this country grapple with every time they cast their votes. In each of these countries, corruption has not only eroded trust and stunted development, but also created a society where honesty seems like a rare commodity. The sad reality is that the ones who bear the brunt of these corrupt practices are the ordinary citizens, the very people these nations are supposed to serve and protect. And now we arrive at the country that tops our list. The country with the highest level of corruption is stepping into the spotlight. This country has earned a notorious reputation for its pervasive corruption, which, unfortunately, has become woven into the very fabric of its society. The scale of corruption here is staggering, with institutionalised bribery and embezzlement becoming commonplace. From the highest echelons of power down to the local governance level, corruption has seeped into every nook and cranny. It's not just about money changing hands under the table, but about power being wielded unscrupulously about policies being manipulated, and about justice being compromised. This rampant corruption has had far-reaching impacts. For the people of this country, it is a daily battle. It hampers their access to basic services, deepens economic disparities and erodes trust in the system. It's a vicious cycle where corruption fuels poverty, and poverty, in turn, feeds corruption. Moreover, it's not just the citizens who bear the brunt. The country's international image is tarnished, investment opportunities are lost, and potential progress is stunted. However, it's essential to remember that corruption is not an inherent trait, but a systemic issue. It's born out of a lack of transparency, weak law enforcement, and socio-political instability. And while the situation seems bleak, it's not irreversible. So there you have it, the top 10 countries struggling with corruption. As we've seen, corruption is a global issue that impacts countries and societies in many ways. We've journeyed across 10 countries, each with unique experiences and challenges regarding corruption. These are not just numbers or rankings, but stories of societies grappling with a problem that undermines their growth and development. Let's recap our journey. We started with country number 10, where corruption has woven itself into the fabric of the society, influencing every sector from education to healthcare. Then we moved to country number 9, where we saw how corruption could stall economic growth and perpetuate inequality. Our conversation continued as we explored corruption in countries 8 to 5. Here we uncovered the intricate web of corruption that spans across borders, from public sector embezzlement to illicit financial flows. We saw how corruption can shake the very foundations of trust within a society, fostering disillusionment and cynicism. Then we delved into countries 4 to 2, each battling corruption in its own way. These countries showed us that corruption is not an insurmountable problem, but one that requires concerted effort, transparency and a strong will to overcome. And finally, we arrived at country number one. Here, the magnitude of corruption was stark and sobering. It underscored the urgent need for global efforts to combat this pervasive issue. Corruption, as we've seen, is not confined to any one country or region. It's a global issue that affects us all. It erodes trust, hampers development, and perpetuates inequality. But it's not an unconquerable beast. With collective action, transparency, and the rule of law, we can push back against corruption. As we wrap up, let's remember that each of us has a role to play in this fight. Whether it's by promoting transparency, advocating for justice, or simply staying informed, we can make a difference. Remember, knowledge is power, and understanding corruption can help us fight against it.